Okay, we're about to do a first start on this engine. This is a uh, 2000 Miata engine in a 94 NA. Um, it's more or less stock, except it's got, uh, let's see, it's an El Cheapo header. I think I gave uh, $75 for that on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't fit real well, but I got it to fit. Um, and it's got those uh, cam sprockets. And this engine's got, uh, let's see, a homemade crank, uh, crank ignition. It's an Edis 4. I'll put a picture in in a second, and let's see, um, yep, it's all, everything's bolted in, everything's done, uh, well, it's got oil pressure, no fuel leaks, so um, all I have to do really is turn the key, I think, we'll see. Um, now this car is running on a Mega Squirt, and let's see, the... Um, the old engine ran on the Mega Squared. All I had to do is change uh, the links on a couple of wires in order to get uh, it to fit. So we'll see um, if I got that right. But uh, overall, I think I um, think it's going to start. <laughs> and just take another look around. There's the Edis coil pack. Uh, I believe that's an MSD coil pack. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this should start right up. Let's uh, <laughs> cross your fingers. Hang on. Uh, let me set the camera up. Okay, the camera's set on the tripod. Let's give it a shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, all right, that wasn't so bad. I had to adjust the uh, the air fuel ratio to get. Uh, I guess the car was running real rich, um, but uh, I won't be able to adjust it fully till it warms up. But I'm I'm pretty happy with what we got right now. Um, seems to be pretty zippy. Um, all right, well that's it for now. All right, so I had to uh, get out of the garage real quick. The garage was filling full of smoke, but. I let it run for a couple minutes and we got a coolant leak so I'm going to see if I can sort that out and get the car running again. Uh, stand by. Alright so I can't seem to find where the coolant leak is coming from so I'm going to go ahead and start it up one more time and see if I can force it to leak. Take a look, see where it's leaking from. It seems to stop leaking. I don't know what the deal is with that. Well, um, I'm going to call this a success. I guess I'll sort out that coolant leak when, uh, when I figure it out. But uh, overall, she's running pretty good for a first start. Um, this is uh, <laughs> one of my better first starts. All right, well, uh, stay tuned.